February 12, 1940. My crew and I have returned from a long and welcoming vacation. It was the first time since the war begun that I returned home and was finally able to see my family. I will admit that it was incredibly difficult leaving them again, but Germany have the Allies on the run and there are talks of an invasion of England happening soon. We've been informed that we are to immediately depart and head to the north of Scotland as there have been reports that Allied convoys have changed their course due to recent U-boat attacks that they've been suffering near the southwestern coast of England. Reconnaissance planes flying over the north of Scotland believe they have located the new area where the cargo ships are now traveling. Our mission is simple. Travel to the designated area and continue the destruction of Allied shipping at all costs. This particular area is dangerously close to the Lioness naval base and my crew understand that the presence of Allied warships will be increased as a result. Nonetheless, we are the backbone of the Kriegsmarine and it is imperative that we succeed in this mission for Germany to have a chance at a full invasion of England. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome to another episode of U-Boats and I am excited. I haven't, uh, haven't played it in a minute, so happy to be back as uh, my time has been kind of taken away by that contraband police game and my goodness is it fun. However, we are back and we have a new mission. We are traveling to the north of Scotland, as you can see, where we are to continue the destruction of Allied shipping and I welcome it with open arms. So we have to sink a total gross registered tonnage of 10,000 tons. However, you know we're gonna go over that because we're not just gonna stop at 10,000. We are going over because it is also the tonnage war area that we are going to be sparking and we are at 36,871 of the 50,000 gross tons that we need. So we are going to knock this out as well while we're up here. However, one of the problems we do face is Linus Naval Base is right here. So according to our reconnaissance planes, the cargo shipping they find are coming up through AM-37 here, up and across AM-35 and under below Linus Naval Base, no doubt because they'll be heavily covered by Allied shipping as they come through here. More than likely now dropping off their cargo in Leith. It seems, according to intelligence, that there are less and less cargo ships appearing in AM-9, AM-8, BF-1 area. So, we are one of four U-boats that are heading to the north here. We're going to get up there and see what kind of damage we can actually do. And uh, I'm excited, so I hope you guys are all ready. And without further ado, let's get into this. And we have officially entered our designated area. Let it begin. Go ahead and let uh, BDU know. And we have arrived and start our uh, journey, shall we? We're probably going to go down to Periscope Depth to start it all off, of course. Let's go ahead and get our hydrophone up and running here. Give you an extra and let's go ahead and drop and good heavens. Didn't even have to wait. Now my question is, one, where are they heading? They're heading this way. Oh my goodness. This is excellent. We're already looking pretty damn good here. However, we gotta worry. Four to nine. Are we looking at a destroyer patrol group here, or are we looking at some cargo ships? Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. This is definitely going to be warships that we want to avoid, but this is what we're going to go after right now. All in all, I would say that uh, reconnaissance really paid off on this area because we have confirmed for a fact that the Allies have diverted their course heading north over Scotland in an attempt to confuse us, but it's not gonna work. Oh my goodness, and sure enough, we have confirmed that it is Allied cargo shipping. However, one of our U-boats has been spotted and he is being targeted heavily by Allied warships. I don't believe he's gonna make this. However, he is pushing all the cargo ships towards our location, which might help, but they are in invasive maneuvers which is not good for us. We're gonna have to try and get a little closer here. We'll go forward one, try and close the distance and see where they might be going. And there's a torpedo from the U-boat. 
Oh my goodness. We're gonna we're gonna try and get a strike on something, but like I said, it's gonna be pretty difficult. Let's go ahead and raise periscope and see what we're looking at here. And numerous depth charges being dropped on our fellow U-boat over there. My god, man, what were you thinking going after this alone with that many warships? And hello! Oh my goodness. We have two tankers that we need to focus on. Where are you in the group? There, and naturally you are right behind him, I'm imagining. Oh yes, so these two right here are our targets. And we need to try and get close enough to actually do some damage. Let's go ahead and go forward one, please. We're going to let these cargo ships move ahead and we're going to go after this big guy if we have to. We'll go after him and we'll try and do a two striker and then get the hell out of dodge. Alright, the good news is, is that the cargo ships have stopped their evasive maneuvers and they are heading in a straight line. That's going to help us significantly. But now we need to focus on the Ulna first. Go ahead and try and get a course going here for this one. First off, we're going to get a velocity. Raise periscope, please. And we got to do this fast because the other uh, warships are actually heading back to try and cover them off. Start. But as soon as we get the velocity on this one, we know that's going to be the velocity for the second tanker. Oh my goodness. If we can knock both of these out right now, this would be absolutely epic. We need to do it. All right. The velocity of the convoy is stop, set, seven knots. Big surprise here. Go ahead and get a course really quick, please. If we may, it's going to be very rough. That's okay. Time is not on our side as we have a warship actually heading in our direction. Looks like we're going to be on a course of 90 degrees. Set, and we have a distance... Go ahead and see when you are at exactly at zero, it's going to be 1.7 to 1.8. We're going to do it at 1800 meters. 1800 meters, let's go ahead and load to oh, one and two for you Bebesan. with a dispersion oh, of. Bebesan. Do five meters, 30 knots, 1.5 depth. No, oh, we're going to drop Bebesan. that to 2.5. Oh, Excellent. And while we can, we have a little bit of time. I want to get this one locked on. Identified, please. Recognize that with a velocity of 7. A course of 90 as well, definitely. And a distance. We need to fire on him first. 1.9. 1,900 meters. We are going to fire on him right now. We can't wait. So everything's set. Good to go. And fire. Dos! Torpedoes away! Torpedoes away! Alright, go ahead and unlock. Lock onto our next target here. We know him to be. Everything is good. Go oh, three and four. Bebesan. Torpedoes away, torpedoes Bebesan. away. As soon as these things are ready, we are sending them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And fire. Oh. Alright. Air reserves are low, that's okay though. We need to get air, get all this nonsense out of the way, please. Okay, we are heading out of here. Go ahead and forward two before we start getting picked up and head on out. We can drop to, oh my goodness, how low can we go? 100 and, we can drop to 20 meters. Looks like we're Looking pretty good. Might be getting some hits here. Oh, this is going to be exciting. If we can knock out both of these right now, I, I, I'm telling you. Not only are we going to meet the 10,000 tons that we need, but I'm pretty sure we're going to finish the uh, tonnage war mission that uh, <laughs> Command has given us. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we want to see. Massive explosions. First one going down. It is serious damage taking on a lot of water. You can already see the 
Oh my goodness. Rear of the ship is lifting up out of the water almost. Now we just gotta wait for the second explosion on the last target, and there it is. One and two. Massive damage. We have succeeded, ladies and gentlemen. That is exactly what we wanted to see. It is not looking good for this either. And as you can see, the first target has officially sunk going under. And this one will be soon to follow. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. We have a third tanker as the explosions continue to go off behind this. We have a third tanker. We need to get this. We need to go. We need to actually increase speed, please, to three. Periscope depth. Right now. Weather station deployment. We need to take this out. And confirmed the second target has sunk. Target number one and target number two seen by the lock on symbol. And here is our third target. Oh my goodness. Have we hit the jackpot or what? Velocity, no doubt. Probably... We'll say eight knots now because it's probably picked up a little bit of speed with its evasive maneuvers. We're still doing all right because this... Hang in there, little buddy. He's still being hunted, which gives us all the room in the world to actually do. We might... I dare say we might surface the boat and attack this with the deck gun. We'll be well out of range of these guys. You know what? Switch over to engines, please. Increase time a little bit. Can we go a little faster? Yes, we can. We're going to increase time compression to 48 and get a little bit ahead if we can. And here's what we're going to do. As soon as we get ahead, we are cutting in now to get on a relative 90 course here. Come on, come on. Which puts us roughly at 1.3 kilometers with our target. Go ahead and stop engines, please. Quickly. Raise periscope, find target. Not that one. Definitely not that one. There it is. Oh my goodness. You know what? We have a little bit of time. Let's do this right. Let's go ahead and get a proper velocity. It's doing evasive maneuvers. So I know I said 8 knots. I totally messed up there. I meant it's going to be going slower if it's doing the evasive maneuver. So we're probably looking at more like six to five knots that this thing is actually pushing. Festgestellt. And here we go. Let's find out. Stop. Set. Five knots. Course. We're going to keep it at 90. Distance. Go ahead and find a quick distance really quick. At 1.1, 1 .1, 1100 meters. How many torpedoes have we got loaded? Oh my gosh, we don't have any torpedoes loaded. Come on, guys. You guys are killing me. All right, so I messed up totally. I didn't even have the torpedoes loaded and ready to rock, so that is completely on me. We have now got to get ahead of the tanker one more time, which should be good right about here. And now close the distance. Looking at around possibly 1,600 meters which isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and close the distance to one kilometer if possible. Right around there, go ahead and stop. We have messages queued for a value of 8,700 that we can get those off to BDU. All right. Two new torpedoes ready to rock and roll. Where is our target? There she is. Perfect. We need to get a new velocity, unfortunately, because evasive maneuvers have stopped. No doubt, they're probably at seven knots once again, which is okay. That actually helps us, but we'll get the new velocity, a new course set, and a new distance. Probably going to be around 1,100 to one kilometer and uh, get this show on the road. We have two torpedoes ready to rock and roll. I don't know how our other U-boat is doing, unfortunately. I don't think he made it because it looks like the destroyers are heading back, which is not good for us. We need to get these torpedoes out right now and get underwater and get the hell out of Dodge. 
And we were looking at a velocity of seven knots. Go ahead and get a, a new course, please, shall we? It's gonna be something like that, roughly, again, 90 degrees. Set, and let's see what our distance is from the boat. We're looking at 1,100 meters still. Go ahead and load two oh, one and two, please. Better. Get ready to fire these, and we are dropping under the water and getting out of here. Come on, and fire. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. And they look like they're on a pretty good course, but we can't stand around to wait. We need to go forward three, please. We are running out of air reserves, too. Our air quality is 35%. How deep are we right here? 90? You know what? Actually, stop. Here's what we're doing. We are dropping to 100 meters. 100 meter. And there we go. Yes! Two hits, direct. Serious damage, we've got more fireworks going. Ladies and gentlemen, have we just done it? Have we just taken out three tankers? Please tell me it's true. It says serious damage. It looks like it's dead in the water. It's going to go right over us. Gosh, you know what? If it's dead in the water, it would have been smart to get close to it. So the destroyers didn't pick us up. But we are bottoming the boat out at the bottom of the ocean here. And uh, we'll hopefully let these destroyers go right over us. We just need that air quality to last a little longer. I know I said we're going to bottom out the boat, but I think those destroyers actually peeled off. We need to confirm that right now, actually. Observation periscope, please, sir. We need to confirm. Oh my gosh, it looks like they've almost peeled off, but I can't really tell. I think they're actually coming towards us. But in other news, we have sunk the third tanker. Okay, here's the plan of action now. We are going north. Go ahead and full steam ahead, please. Go ahead and turn on the diesel compressors. Our air quality is at 12%. We, we don't have a choice. We need to uh, surface the boat. Service the boat, angle. We're gonna be inside of these, but that's okay. We need to run. Time compression of 48, and we're gonna see just how far away these destroyers are. They certainly are heading our way, but they're just over the horizon. But we're gonna head away and get the hell out of Dodge, as I said. Full steam ahead to recharge the battery, and we already have our air quality back up and going. That is good. How are is our torpedo situation looking right now, please? Torpedoes, none are loaded, of course. I'm gonna order you guys to start loading these right bloody now. Okay, we've gotten out of sight. Let's go ahead and see how the horizon looks right now. And there they are, still over the horizon. All right, we are out of the immediate area of the destroyers. They were last seen going roughly north, and now we are surfacing the ship again to get everything up. Our battery capacity is currently at 90% now and rising. And the last ships that we spotted were in the area of AM3995, actually. If I go to binoculars and look, you can actually see the smokestacks out in the distance here, just over the horizon, and that is what we're after. And that is not just one ship, that is many. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, I think it has been an incredible attack on this uh, episode coming back. I can't believe that we managed to get three tankers in a row, pretty much in a row. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely incredible. I have no, I, I'm almost lost for words. We have achieved so much and we haven't even begun to scratch the surface on this mission. So we have already gone through, what is that, six torpedoes, we have about maybe four or five in reserve right now, four more loaded, maybe about three in reserve, actually let's go ahead and check our reserves for torpedoes currently, so we have four loaded, ready to rock, and two in reserve, we already are almost completely out of torpedoes, and again we haven't even scratched the surface of this mission. So. We might, I don't know if supplies, if they'll transport torpedoes. I don't see why they can't, but uh, we're gonna have to find out 
request a resupply and get those torpedoes locked in and ready to rock. But in the meantime, that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys have all enjoyed it because I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Knocking out that much tonnage is going to put an absolute damper on the Allied war effort. And so glad that those reconnaissance planes did a good job of scouting the north of Scotland here because it is paying off tremendously. So, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys liked about it. Likewise, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, and helps get this video out to many more who would like to see this style of game. And also, if you are new to the channel and you like what you saw here today and you want to see more on this series and many more series coming out like it and other genres of gaming, please consider subscribing as I try and get videos out as frequently as I can. I generally try and get about two videos out a week. Sometimes it's one, but I'm uh, trying to increase that to about two to three a week now. So if you want to see more on this, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it start making the next episode of this game as well as Contraband Police. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?